I'm pretty optimistic, so my answer is within five years. Uh, this afternoon, I will give, uh, I'll give a lecture about what are the practice of the molecular marker-assisted breeding uh, in BGI. Yeah, even like an institute like ours, we don't have very good experience of the breeding, uh, just within four or five years, just four years, or sometimes some, some species less than four years. We have so good progress. Yeah, the advance is so quick, something unbelievable for traditional breeders. So as I see, that basically, yeah, the, uh, my answer is just within the new, near future. Within five years, you will see a real advance, and some advance or some progress will be amazing for the traditional breeders. Basically, as this also uh, caused me, the, let me remember, you see, when I came here to give a speech, let's see, if I'm not wrong, I should be there. 2011 or yeah, 20, yeah, 2011. At that time, I said, "Wow, it's a new era." Basically, we, we for the old breeders, we catch a good time, a good era for our career. And uh, with this new technology, the breeding will go so fast. And even for those neglected species, some species of which we have very, very few uh, genetics information, and those could be very time consuming, but now we can do it very fast. That's good news for the older breeders. And also that's good news for the people living in those arid and semi-arid areas. As their germplasm already adapted to those environment could be recognized and could be utilized. It yeah, could be utilized very efficiently. And the, not just the quantity, but also the quality of the new cultivars could be improved so fast. That's real good news for the people living in those areas. So at that time, I think just, 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 just if I'm not wrong, it's 2011. Now it's just uh, no more than f f four years, yeah. But you can see the Rajiv, yeah, his breeding projects, yeah, not just the pigeon pea, but also the uh, chickpea, yeah, grows very fast. We not just accumulate a lot of information, not just a lot of data, but new advanced lines yeah, based on this new information. So as I see, based on our experience, uh, our experience on foxtail millet, on rice, yes, just within near future, you will see new cultivars could go to the farmer. As basically currently, we, we, we are not counting the breeding procedure based on the traditional uh, way, like how many years, like the five years or eight years, normally six years. That's some uh, reasonable uh, judgment. You will get some significant progress. Now we count on is just how many generation. Normally five to six generation, you will get significant progress. So I'm relatively optimistic about this question. Just within, just within the near future, you will see yeah, tremendous change.